Okay, I got a 13 Vero diesel um, with a CJA engine, uh, diesel engine, and it has this fork right here. I'll show you in a minute. Your system insufficient flow into me. Okay, I look at the pipe here. Whenever you see this, it's always a cam. Whenever you see this, you need a particular filter, the DPF, and an EGI filter. But we did it like 40,000 miles ago, so maybe they don't drive this car a lot. But we're gonna see if we can just get away with it by just replacing this guy, the EGR filter. So we're gonna do the EGR filter, and then we're gonna drive and take it from there, and plus we're gonna add this right here, the diesel for the DPF exhaust and emission system cleaner. We're gonna dump that, that goes in the fuel tank. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, EGR filter, it's right there, this guy right here. We got the two touch here, we got the one and, and two right there. Two bolts, okay? Two touch in. Then you got the clamp here, the five millimeter alley. You can use the clamp and the bolts on this one. And it's okay. Okay? And that's gonna be this guy right here. Okay? You gotta remember, get him out first. Get this guy out first so you can have space. With two 60 millimeter bolts, okay? Another sign that you need a particular filter, an EGR filter, is how you stick your hands here. So the suit set, that's a sign uh, you need a EGR filter and a particular filter. But like I told you guys, uh, we already did this one uh, 40,000 miles ago, so we're gonna see if we could get away with just a filter, okay? Okay, no EGR filters in. Now I'm gonna go drive it and make sure the four coals doesn't come back, okay? Okay, I'm checking for codes and so far so good. Check again. So far so good, no lights on the dash. Already drove like 10 miles. Guys, when you drive a car for drivability, show a check engine light. I mean, you don't want to go crazy and do 20 miles and then you fix the car. No, the the, the right way will be take take short short drives, like cycle the key, turn the car off, turn it back on. Do that, do that like 10 times. Stop, cycle, stop, cycle, like turn the car off, turn it back on and check for focus. That's the way I like doing it. Uh, if I got like a check engine light or something. And that's the way I know it's fixed. Because sometimes I do 20 miles, guess what? Customer comes, takes the car, uh, go around the corner, goes around the corner, check engine light goes back on. Because ECM start registering, registering stuff when you do cycles. So do your cycles, guys. If you really got a problem, you really want to know if you fixed it, cycle the key, turn the car off, um, off and on like 10 times. And if, the, if no four calls came back on, of course, you got to drive the car. Drive it and while doing so, stop over uh, and cycle. Okay? Do like 10 times. And that's the way you ensure that you fix the car. Okay? So anyway, this one I did like 10 miles already. Um, I already started up like like eight times, nine times. I'm gonna do another two cycle. Okay, that will be like ten. I'm gonna do it one more time, guys. This is how you fix it. Okay, nothing came back. ECM hasn't registered anything. Now let me check for four codes again. Oh, 
Marcos. I keep figuring this thing. No four codes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just give the car back to the customer. <laughs>